Hi, David Taylor of Mr. Pelagonium back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, in the heat, I'm having to do a few things uh, in narrative form. Today, I'm going to do a little snip back of our test plant and a repot. So let's get on with it. I'm just cleaning my knife and let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. I've got our little test plant and it is grown on, it has grown on quite strongly. Uh, first thing to do is to remove the blooms that have come through. It has grown quite quickly. It's grown very fast, to be quite honest. Um, I mean, you know, it's doing very well. I, I've been feeding it though, balanced feed. Uh, at every watering and it's grown on quite nicely there is a main stem that I'm going to need to take out so we'll have a look at that in a moment uh, I'm initially getting rid of a few leaves which have grown through um, now obviously we remove these leaves in order to get the light down through into the center of the plant that's what it's really all about we need the light to get down to encourage those new little stem breaks further down the plant uh, to come through and grow strongly. So I'm just taking the labels out now. Um, this again was during the uh, the very warm weather, the very hot weather that we've had actually record breaking in the end. Um, now we're revealing in the end this tall central stem and we're going to do something about that in a moment. Um, we've got uh, a few other bits and pieces of leaf that I'm just removing there it's just giving me access to uh, what's going on down below um, so I'm sort of mulling over what I'm going to do there and we have got this strong central stem which we talked a little bit about last time uh, but I've made the decision that there's far too much effort going into that central stem uh, from the plant um, and lacking a bit of push through from these new shoots that are occurring down at the base of the plant. We will see them and so you can see me indicating there that I'm going to cut this off. Um, so I'm just sort of tidying up to give me access to be able to do this. Um, and there we go. I'm going to go down right to a lower cut. So it's a lower previous cut to one of the ones that we've done before. And there is a break shooting out the side further down that uh, that I'm going to cut down to. Uh, I'm just indicating here that there are a number of little stem shoots that are just breaking through, but I need more effort to go into them. And this will indeed balance off the plant um to enable it to sort of you know become more rounded which is ultimately what we're wanting to do there is a sort of uh, a new shoot that's growing out this near side you can see it just below my cutting hand there um, that's a good fresh shoot which we are going to cut back as well um, in a moment um, you will see me do that because that is potentially going to push new shoots through into our little sort of um empty area that we've got because at the moment this is sloping so you can see what i've done i've just cut this back here to a, a side shoot which is growing out um, facing into our sort of gap area here uh, again i'm just sort of sussing out really what um what the plant is doing uh, now, one of the important things that's going to happen, we are going to pot this on. It's in a three and a half inch pot or nine centimeter pot, 90 mil uh, pot at the moment. And that's going to go up to a 12 centimeter pot uh, or 120 mil or four and a half inches, just marginally over four and a half inches. Um, but that, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're, I'm just sort of sussing around, see what's going on, what else I'm potentially going to do. Uh, I'm just, again, stripping off a, a few leaves a bit further down just to uh, enable a little bit of an easier pot on um, and a little bit, uh, you know, 
again, it's all making sure that we get plenty of light down into the plant. So, you know, that's something to bear in mind if you're growing on a plant like this. Now, this is a dwarf. It's a Gosbrook Susanna. Uh, it is dwarf by nature. Uh, the 12F or the 120 mil um, uh, pot that we're going to be putting it up into is what would be used in exhibition terms. But it's also a good pot to put it into just to grow on uh, whatever you may sort of be wanting to do with it, really. Um, so there we are. I am looking now. This is the other cutback of this new shoot which has pulled through. Uh, but this has got some nodes that are facing into this sort of little bit of a gap area here. So I am just going to cut back this sort of newish shoot uh, that's come up from the base. We did see it last time. So I've just taken the head off of this to really encourage it to push through um, and, you know, push these side shoots, these new little shoots that are coming there on those nodes to push into the gap to make this plant nice and rounded. Um, and that's what I'm uh, doing there. That's what I've done. And I'm just sort of showing you what you know what this is potentially going to do we got these this new node i've cut just above the node and we'll see a little bit later on really close up just to uh to show you what i've done uh, but there are a number of shoots all over this that are growing now but a repot um will push this on you know much much faster in a way because this has actually been in this pot now i think for nine months i think i actually worked out it was dated um so it does need some fresh compost in there to really give it a kick now uh because obviously over a period of time um the root ball gets tight and all it makes it want to do it really is flower rather than grow so there we are i'm just um putting it on now knock it out the pot fairly straightforward a uh, very clean root ball it was um, no problems at all now i am one that does like to tear the roots a bit um, i know some people do some people don't but i'm someone that does like to tear uh, so you know that that's one of the things that i've always done i like to give the roots a little bit of a you know just get my fingers in there break off the the old sort of dense root that's got to the real base of a pot i'm always somebody that's done that um I'm all, i also let the plants dry out between potting on um that root ball is pretty much bone dry the reason i do this is because it will get an initial water um in the fresh compost but i want those dry roots to go out searching uh, to grow into the new compost and when that new compost is watered that dry root ball will want to grow out into this damper compost and that's the reason I let my uh, I always pot on with a, a dry root ball and that's just the way that I do it uh, I think I was taught that many years ago um, by somebody I can't even remember now uh, but that's what I was always taught to do and it always it's always worked for me so there we are. I've just pulled off a few stipules and that sort of thing. I'm going to speed through this bit. My standard compost, third drainage material uh, with um, a sort of standard compost that you may or may use. Um, any type of compost, really. I've experimented with many over the years. doesn't make a monumental amount of difference. But the key thing is uh, the drainage material. I use mostly perlite these days with some sharp sand. Uh, making up about a third of that total. Uh, very important to um, to have a, a very, very well-drained compost. Uh, and that, that's vital for what I'm, uh, I'm wanting to do. Um, so there we are. That's uh, being pushed through now. I'm just going to tamper it, tamper it down in a moment. Um, pretty sensible. Just make sure your plant's nice and clean. Uh, as I've said, I've pulled off dead stipules, anything dead or dying on it, uh, dead leaves and that sort of thing. Uh, and we're almost there. We're, we're sort of, you know, towards the end of the process now. 
I always plant my uh, uh, plants in the pot fairly low. Uh, that's what a, that's the exhibitor in me doing that. You want the plant to grow nice and green all around the base of the pot. And I just sit it in there just for about 10 minutes in a, a little uh, saucer of water. And there are all those shoots beginning to grow through. On the right there, you can see the new shoot. There it is. Uh, with the node just beginning to break and that's really important to see because you want we need to fill this front area uh, so that's something to bear in mind if you're sort of following along with this and want to encourage your plants to grow uh, now the one thing i didn't mention was i've obviously cut this back and potted it off straight away uh, i've been able to get on with this because it's very dry very airy um, and it's sealed off very quickly um, and there's only basically two cuts that have been done so there we are it's all done potted up uh, ready for the next time when I can chat about it live but in the meantime there we go it's nice and clean and it's been potted up now into a four and a half inch pot